Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm hoping everybody's social distancing and washing your hands and staying safe out there. <clears throat> um, well, uh, I finally got this Mustang done. Thought I'd share it with you. Yeah, I'm watching an episode of Dog Fights on the History Channel there. That's a cool show. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I got this Mustang done uh, last night, actually. And uh, everything was okay until this morning when I took it down off these shot glasses where I had it sitting overnight for the landing gear to uh, to set, for the glue to set. And despite leaving it propped up like that all night, um, I set it down today on its gear. And in no time, I noticed the gear starting to bend, as you can see there. I don't know what the problem is. I thought I gave it plenty enough time for the, the for the glue to set up, you know. But apparently not. So I'm thinking I may just have to break the gear off and glue the doors shut underneath. Take a look at the motor here real quick. There we go. You can see I painted the pilot figure inside too. I even did his goggles up there. You can see them up on his up above his forehead there. Yeah, it turned out pretty nice. Didn't have any major fitment issues. Just that landing gear, for some reason, I wanted to go sideways. Despite leaving it overnight, you know, without any weight on it. I'm thinking I may just have to break them off and glue the door shut. So there's that, let me get it out of the way here, show you a few other things. I've been buying some die cast stuff this past week, I thought I'd share with you, like a 69 Super B, got this at Walmart for only 10 bucks, trying to show you the motor there. That's yeah, not a bad deal at all. Only ten bucks for these American Legend series. Okay, there's that. And this Camaro. An SS three ninety six. That's what it says down there. But while you may not be able to see it from here, it's got a 427 decal on the air cleaner. Not quite sure why that is. But anyway, it's pretty nice. And then I picked these up. Just in the past couple days. The Dodge Challenger with its tow vehicle. Those are pretty nice. And then I found this. 
69 Daytona and a taller um, mellow yellow uh, treatment paint job thought that was pretty cool and lastly they came out with some more of these these Johnny Lightning 50 and 50th anniversary cars there's the Galaxy and here's the GTX convertible And lastly, little 62 Corvair. And according to this, this is the first time Johnny Lightning has replicated a 62 Corvair Monza Spider. So that's a first for them there. Yeah, and it, the paint scheme was inspired by actual Sunoco racing cars, it says. And so there it is. That's everything I thought I'd share with you. Yeah, um, I've got a, a question or two about that um, Ron Stewart appreciation build. Um, first, uh, when's the uh, end date? And second, uh, what all can you build for it? Anything? And... um. Yeah, and the big rig build has just started, I know. I've seen people talking about it, so I'll, I'll probably get started on that. Yeah, I posted a video about that a while back, my uh, entry for the big rig build. Um, yeah, I've got to get that out and get started on it. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, let me know about that Ron Stewart build, when it ends and what all you can build for it. So, that's it for now. I'll be getting off of here. And uh, stay safe out there. Uh, and keep building. And we'll see you.